the issue I have with Skype and text messages is that you don't have a formal signature and generally when you're executing documents you want both parties to sign off so with an email it seems a bit more clear because you have an electronic signature so to say so to speak so um, my question is really how far can you go in terms of getting that through with text messages and Skype? Uh, that is an interesting question. I don't think uh, we have any authority that I could uh, cite. Uh, but this is not a question uh, related only to one area. Now, if I highlight uh, the Instruments Act, even the Crimes uh, Acts uh, in various states, even the Commonwealth uh, Legislation Privacy Act, uh, will come into play in, in, in this uh, in this area. So it's not, not just uh, one particular piece of law. Uh, judges will continue to uh, make laws in the future in relation to this matter where specific laws are not there. Um, also to highlight, this is not something completely new. Uh, that 1954 case gives guidance. If the parties have clearly intended to be bound, uh, there can be a contract verbally or in writing.